Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. Uh, first thing I want to thank you for uh, giving your valuable time to me and accepting me to talk with you. Yeah, it's great. Um, I watched a few YouTube videos of yours and like, that's wonderful what you do, just bringing all these other people from around the world. Here, so. Thank you so much, man. Firstly, I want to, uh, I should thank you because uh, uh, you don't know me, but still, uh, when I requested you, you didn't say no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, can you introduce yourself to my audience? Yeah. Uh, my name is Paul. I have an Instagram account. I'm a self-published author, and I live in America. In which state? Uh, South Carolina. South Carolina, yeah. Okay. Uh, I have seen, I have gone through your uh, profile. Uh, you, you, are, you take the interviews of uh, writers, authors. Yes, I do. And which? Huh? Uh, where you will take? I mean, uh, you, you take interviews and put on YouTube or uh, you take interviews for uh, an Instagram live or... Uh, um, I don't do video interviews. I just do them like, uh, I just post uh, what they write on my page. Okay, okay. So, what is your age? I just turned 20 a couple days ago. Wow. Happy birthday, related. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> so, yeah, being, uh, being just 20... Uh, I have saw I have saw your writings. I have gone through your writings. Uh, where you where you uh, collected that much information only by being twenty? When you started uh -huh. uh, when you started reading and when you started writing when you started expressing uh, your thoughts to the world. Oh, uh, when did I start? Yes. Um, like elementary school, like really early on, I just really enjoyed writing and making art and just expressing myself in uh, very different ways. And I just sort of kept going with that. And I knew that I wanted to take it seriously. Uh, so I just went forward with it. OK. What is your education, educational qualification? Uh, I am currently in college classes. I graduated high school two years ago. And I'm planning on continuing classes. Okay, okay. So, who inspired you about writing? Oh, a, a lot of writers. <laughs> um, uh, fantasy authors, uh, George R. R. Martin, uh, J.K. Rowling, she used to inspire me. Um, and there's just all a lot of the authors for the books that I read growing up, just mainly. What kind of uh, writing do you prefer most of the time to read? Uh, like, what genre? Yeah, yeah. Uh, fantasy, science fiction. I've been in a uh, reading some contemporary stuff lately, but uh, I thought I'd go back to the sort of fantastical stuff. Okay, what do you personally write? What do you personally? What genre you love? Uh, like the genre that I read, and is pretty much the same as the genre that I prefer to write. You know, just uh, fantastical, magical kind of stories. Okay. So what is writing to you? Um, writing to me is like a form of communication. And I think uh, like when you write fiction, it's finding new ways to get different ideas across that other people can understand in like sort of unique, unconventional ways, if that makes sense. Um, yeah. It's definitely art. OK. How many marks will you give to yourself as a writer out of 100? Uh, what, like, how would I grade myself as a writer out of 100? Yes. Ooh, that's tough. <laughs> um, hmm. Maybe 50, 50 to 60, I think. Because um, I'm always, there's always opportunities to grow, I think. And I'm definitely not done with my journey yet. So there's more to go. Okay. So how much time you spend uh, in uh, writing? Uh, it changes depending on uh, what I'm doing, I guess. But I definitely make a lot of time to do it whenever I can. 
okay so other than writing what do you do um i like to draw and uh paint and things like that um i run sometimes and uh i go to school i had a job until coronavirus but um yeah um i'm moving soon so i'm hoping i can start up new hobbies when i move okay so so what are the books uh, that you love most um well this is one book that i read um when i was younger called the search for wand it's a science fiction book uh, uh with like illustrations and things that one was really like influential on me at the time i say that's my favorite book and um the harry potter series and you know percy jacks and things like that just growing up was really inspirational for me so you love fictional yes fiction <laughs> so magical okay anything which is not real you love that yes yes i think it's really cool how you can express things that like are very true in ways that are like not you know, real you know i just okay. think that's very cool so what is the difference between real and fictional uh the difference between real and fictional um uh, that's a big thing i think maybe starting where they're the same maybe could work i don't know how to explain it it's kind of hard <laughs> can, can i explain um, it i it's a big question i it would take a lot of time i think <laughs> but i definitely think there's ways you can express what's real through fiction okay so what is your imagination uh what is my imagination yeah um my imagination is like it's very important to me um and i think a lot of us should really uh cultivate our imagination because you can use it in your daily life and i think when it uh it's a very powerful tool for relating to other people how many people uh, relate their uh, emotions and their thoughts with your thoughts and your uh, uh, imagination um a lot of people i mean if you if you just look at the interviews that i've done um i really try to reach out i know um like you do to other people and try to relate to them through their creative work so creative work uh, you know that is what i'm asking how many people got connected with your imagination with your creative work Um I don't know if I could put an exact number. I'm not sure how many exactly, but um I'm just hoping to reach as many people as possible. Uh have you faced the people uh, throwing negative comments on your uh, imagination or thoughts or uh, or your writing? I don't get that many negative comments, but I definitely do think I would take criticism like seriously. and i would like look at it and see like maybe there is a way that i can improve or you know maybe there they have a they have a point and then i would try to improve and you know if it's a, just a bad negative comment i would probably uh you know i would just ignore it and move on awesome man and uh are you a sportsman uh no <laughs> no really okay you are uh, you spend time with uh, yourself or uh, you spend time with uh, the people um mainly by myself i am very introverted um it was kind of scary to like do a live video interviews like the first one i've done um so uh, i'm a little bit nervous but you know it's i think it's important to try and get out of your comfort zone so introverts uh, i have a doubt uh, introverts come out uh, from their comfort zone or uh, not uh you say uh introverts do come out yeah. of the comfort zone yeah yeah it's very important to do to kind right. of grow writers yeah. are introverts or extroverts introverts is definitely um very introverted um writing is definitely a very solitary kind of thing but you are expressing it yeah yeah i think but you look inside of yourself and your past experiences and that's how you sort of put it out into the world so i think 
a lot of it is introverted, but yeah, you do express ideas to other people and you have to connect. So what exactly is working for you to live happy? Uh, what makes me happy? Uh, what or exactly like, is working, working for you to be happy? Working for me to be happy? Yeah. Um, well, I think writing definitely does bring me happy. And it's like it. a lot of people, I'm looking at your former uh, interviews, it is a form of therapy. I saw in your last one, so someone mentioned that it, uh, it really is a way to express a lot of negative things as well as positive things and sort of get them out of yourself. Awesome. Have you published any book? Yes, I have published one novel and one short story, and I'm working on another one. What is the what is the name? Um, one of them is uh, titled The Zyrea Chronicles, which is like a fantasy book, fantasy novel. The other one is called Mortal Faith, which is a collection of two short stories that I wrote uh, earlier uh, in 2019. Where do you They're get both- Sorry? Oh, they're both on Amazon. They both are on Amazon. Okay. So where do you where do you get all these thoughts? Um, just every day. I mean, I think everyone kind of has these thoughts sometimes, but uh, I think writers just think too much about them. <laughs> so, what is your life right now? Um, I think. I'm very young and I have a lot of life left to go. Um, but right now, I'm definitely tr- transitioning into becoming an adult and getting used to responsibilities and things that I have to do to grow up. Right now, that's sort of the transition that I'm in. What is the change that you are observing uh, coming out from the teenage to uh, the uh, this 20s? 20 is also 20, so 21. Yeah. Um, I think there's a lot more expectations people are putting on you and sort of you have from the outside world to, you know, start a life, uh, like a, a sort of typical kind of life. And, you know, they're like trying to get you to go on the right path right now. And, um, it can be difficult to transition from, you know, not having that kind of responsibility to sort of being pushed into the real world. How do you handle people who don't have uh, your your imagination or uh, your way of thinking? Um, how do I handle them? Uh, I probably just don't talk to them. <laughs> um, I don't talk to uh, that many people, but yeah, I definitely try to uh, be careful of the kind of people that I surround myself with. If they're negative, I don't want to associate with them. And uh, how many marks will you give to yourself as a communicator? As a communicator, um, well, speaking out of like one out of ten, I'm like a two. <laughs> um, okay. With writing, I definitely think I'm like uh, eight or nine because like I can write a lot better than I can speak. <laughs> okay, okay. So what is the difference that you are uh, observing the uh, between writing and speaking, both are exp- expressing ways. Yeah, um, I think with speaking, it's like connecting the words to my mouth and like maybe like, like social anxiety, you know, because with speaking, it's like very direct towards other people. But with writing, it's like almost like I'm saying it to myself, like it's just my inner thoughts coming out. But with speaking, it's like, you know, I'm kind of being careful about what I say more careful than I would writing in a sense because I'm concerned about what the other person is thinking. How do you handle people uh, who don't give response uh, that you are expecting for your expression? Um, well, maybe my expression just wasn't for them, you know, but it's for other people and those are the kind of people that I want to engage with. What if uh, if uh, a creator, I mean, God puts you in a situation which you cannot handle, the uncontrollable situation? How will you come out? Um, I think there's, 
uh, everyone that's like that's like a chance to grow for everyone you know um when you're in a situation that you can't really handle that just feels like it's too much i think there's definitely gotta gotta be like a way out of it you know and it's just looking inside of yourself and saying you know what could i do that can get me out of this uh being 20 what do you feel uh when you see people uh, committing suicide uh, for their own reasons? Um, yeah, it's definitely something that is very prevalent with younger people um, and something that I've, you know, struggled with sometimes. Uh, mental health is something that you need to take very seriously, especially when you're younger. Um, and, you know, life is just very rough, but I think having people around you that are important and being able to express yourself in any kind of way is uh, something that I think can be very helpful if you're feeling that way. Expressing actually helps you in being healthy. Huh? Expressing uh, yourself actually helps you in being healthy. Yes. Yeah, I believe so. So, so you're saying uh, to the entire world that uh, just express yourself to be healthy. Well, I think it helps along the kind of journey towards, because, you know, you've got to get all the emotions out somehow, you know, you've got to find a way to uh, find an outlet to express them. But expressing is extrovert quality, right? Uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, I, it is, it is. Okay, there are a lot of uh, ex- different expressing ways, but... Uh... People, people uh, 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 who are introverts who don't express themselves much. Yeah, that's so when 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 he is expressing uh, in some way, it can be speaking or writing or uh, creating something and showing it to the public or any any way of using the facial expressions, uh, using the gestures. He is expressing something. Anybody who is expressing is not an introvert, right? Yeah, I mean anybody can express uh anything you know everybody has the capability to do so so what is introvert and extrovert then well um i think everybody might have qualities of both but you might lean more towards one or another in what you prefer okay so what is physical physical health physical health um i do that's also like i think Physical health and mental health do definitely go hand in hand. They're both very important to each other. Um, I think it's important to take care of your body as well as your mind. Okay. So as a writer, what you have learned in your life? Um, My writing definitely taught me about looking at the world in a different way to kind of know how to put it on a page. So that they kind of work together. I guess it's like, it just helps you think through things that you're going through. So what is your goal as a writer? Uh, My goal as a writer, um, just to keep writing. I think that's the only, the best goal you can have. When you started writing? Um, I started taking writing seriously or trying to when I was around 13. 13. I think since seven years you are writing. Uh, ever since then, you know, until um, now I've been writing. Awesome. So do you have anything to say to the people who, who watches this video on YouTube? Um, whatever creative field or maybe non-creative field that you're in, um, just keep going at it. Keep uh, learning, keep growing, you know. And I think they could learn a lot from you, you know, reach out to other people across the world and um, express, express yourself, I've been saying. And then that's, that's about it. Do you have girlfriend? Uh, no. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) If you have, uh, I thought to ask another question. Okay. Mm. So what do you think about girls? Um... You know, they're people, 
you know, we're all people. I don't really have a strong opinion about any person just based on what gender they are. Okay. What is death? What is death? Yeah. You mean? Um, death is just like a, it's, it's natural, you know. I think death and life are kind of the same thing in a sense. Because, you know, everything lives and everything dies. So it's just a cycle that we all go through. And sometimes it can be a struggle to understand it and comprehend it. But uh, it just, you just have to accept it in the end. Okay. So thank you very much for giving your valuable time to me and uh, allowing me to ask uh, questions. And can I put uh, this video on my YouTube channel with your permission? Yes. Of course. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much again. Have a great day. You too. Yeah, thank you.